Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You probably know I's one, and that they are a temporary group, and, unfortunately, they are going to disband on April. Eyes one is one of my ultimate groups so I am really sad that they are going to disband. I mean it was pretty obvious that this was going to happen soon, but I had hoped that they were going to sign a contract extension, but this didn't happen. So right now all I can do is be excited for their future and hope all of them are successful and happy. I am going to tell you all my personal hopes for each member's future and also what I really think is going to happen. I want to start saying that I don't want any of their debuts to be rushed, but I also don't want to wait years to see them on stage again, like what happened to Somi. Let's start with Yoonbi, she is from Woolim Entertainment, the house of two girl groups, Lovelies and Rocket Punch. My hope for Yoonbi is that she becomes a soloist, she has it all, the vocals, dance, charisma and is popular, so I think she would be a great soloist and I want to see that happening. I think my hope is going to become true. Obviously Yoonbi will not join Lovelies, and I doubt she will be added to Rocket Punch. I also can't see Woolen debuting a new girl group, since Rocket Punch isn't even two years old yet. But I can totally see Woolen debuting Yoonbi as a soloist. There is also a small possibility of Chiwon and Yoonbi debuting as a duo, but that seems very unlikely in my opinion. My hope for Sakura is that she signs with a Korean agency and continues to be a K-idol. However, I saw on a video that Sakura will return to Japan and will not continue to be a K-idol. Maybe that's not true, but there are high chances that it is. So I guess Sakura will return to Japan and graduate from HTK48? I don't really understand how this AKB48 thing works, so I can't really explain to you. Hyuan is from 8D Creative, a company with a total of zero girl groups. So I hope after Eyes 1 ends, Hyuan debuts with her company's first girl group. I really think this is going to happen. As I said, 8D Creative doesn't have any girl groups, and now they have the opportunity to debut their first girl group ever with an X's 1 member, so I guess they won't waste this chance. There is also a possibility of Hyuan debuting as an actress or starting a model career. I'd also like to see these things happening, but for me, the first alternative seems more likely. One of my ultimate biases. It will be so weird to not say Yina from Eyes 1. Ugh this is sad. So, my hope for Yina is that she becomes a soloist. Yina isn't just one of the most well-rounded Eyes 1 members, but also one of the most well-rounded idols of this generation. So I think she would be a great soloist and I'd love to see her shining on her own. But I, unfortunately, doubt this will happen. The only alternative I see for Yina is, joining Everglow. Yuhu definitely won't debut a new girl group since Everglow debuted two years ago. And I doubt they would debut Yina as a soloist. Can't really explain why, but I doubt. Anyways, some people say Yina wouldn't fit Everglow's concept but that's totally a lie. Plus Everglow members and Yina are friends, as we saw on Produce 48. So I am okay with her being added to Everglow. The only thing that worries me is that Everglow is basically two years old. They've had four comebacks already and they have a kinda big fanbase. I am worried that Yina will get hate. So please, if you are a forever and don't like the idea of Yina entering Everglow, please remember that Everglow will just be benefited from this. Yina is popular in Korea and lots of whiz ones will probably start supporting Everglow. So please don't be mad and just accept Duck Yina. I said Everglow like a thousand times sorry y'all. This is the third time I am saying this Lumeo, but I really hope Chi Ian becomes a soloist. I am sorry for comparing these two idols, but I can totally see Chi Ian being the next Chung He, and I say that because they have a lot of similarities and I'd love so much to see Chi Ian following Chung He's steps. However, I don't believe this is going to happen, 
WM Entertainment doesn't debut a girl group since 2015, when Oh My Girl debuted. And I just searched about WM's new girl group and it looks like it is practically confirmed that they are going to debut. By the way please tell me that Gumnamu is not their group name and just a pre-debut name. Because I didn't like it lol. Anyways. Chiai and debuting as a soloist seems very very unlikely. Especially when they basically have a group ready to debut. Chiwin's future is a mystery to me, but I have two options for her, joining Rocket Punch or debuting as a soloist. I obviously prefer the second one Lumeo, but the first one sounds more likely to me. Unlike Everglow, Rocket Punch isn't very famous and has a small fanbase, so I think the group can get a little bit more famous because of Chiwin. But I'm kinda worried though because she is not the most popular member. But I guess it would still help the group. And I know I doubted you'd be entering Rocket Punch but now I am talking about Chiwen joining it. And I think there are more possibilities of Chiwen entering the group because she is younger than Yoonbi. And she fits Rocket Punch more. Not saying that Yoonbi wouldn't fit the concept. But I think she is more comfortable doing mature concepts. Also, as I said in the beginning, there is a small possibility of Chiwen and Yoonbi debuting as a duo, but that seems unlikely to me. I can just see one thing happening to her, becoming an actress. Although I will miss seeing Minju on stage so much, I predict and want Minju to become an actress, because I believe she prefers acting and is more comfortable with it, since she trained to act as far as I know. But who knows right? Maybe something happens and she continues to be a K-idol. She improved a lot since Produce 48 and I saw that she is very interested in writing songs. So maybe she sticks to music. But I doubt. I hope both of them sign with a Korean agency and continue to be K-idols. They have so much potential to be big in Korea and it would be sad to see them wasting it. And maybe that really happens. I really can see them continuing to be K-idols. But there are chances of them coming back to Japan of course and doing I don't know what because as I said before I don't understand how the AKB48 thing works. Yuri's future is the one that worries me the most to be honest. I am afraid that she will have to wait a lot of time to debut, but I saw that maybe Pledis and Stone Music Entertainment, Yuri's company, will debut a girl group together. This is good because that means Yuri actually has something waiting for her, but at the same time it can be bad, because we all know that Pledis isn't the best company. I'd like to see Yuri debuting as a soloist, I can totally see her releasing some ballads, but I think she will debut with Stone Music and Pledis new girl group, and the only thing I can do is hope for the best. I think this one is pretty obvious, right? Starship will debut a new girl group with them. I can't see anything else happening and I also want this to happen, but who knows, right? Maybe one I shocks us just like Somi did lol, but that seems unlikely. So this is the end of the video, I really hope it wasn't boring or anything. I want to end this video saying that I love Eyes 1, and always will. I will support each member's activities and I think every Wiz 1 should do that. I really don't want to see any of them flopping, like some IOI members unfortunately did. Ugh I am so sad because of their disbandment, but at the same time I am excited about their future. But let's see what happens. Thanks for watching.